There are four ways to transfer your data. You can use a computer to backup and restore. You can use iCloud. You can transfer directly device to device from the old phone to the new one, or you can transfer data from an Android. In this video, I'm gonna show you the iCloud method. However, a few years ago, I made a video that shows how to transfer data directly from phone to phone. Apple calls it Quick Start. I put a link in the description. If you plan to transfer data using an iCloud backup, ensure you've got enough iCloud storage before you get started on the new phone. On your existing phone, the old one, tap Settings, and then tap your name. Tap iCloud. Here you can see a graph that shows how much available data you have in your iCloud plan. If you don't have enough and want to buy more, in iOS 18, tap the Storage graph, then tap Change Storage Plan. In earlier versions of iOS, tap Manage Account Storage, and then tap Change Storage Plan. Apple gives you five gigabytes of storage for free. However, if you need more, you can get 50 gigabytes for 99 cents per month, 200 gigabytes for 2.99 per month, two terabytes for 9.99 per month, six terabytes for 29.99 per month, or 12 terabytes for 59.99 a month. All prices here are shown in US dollars. Buying iCloud data is kind of like paying for a larger digital locker to back up and save all your iPhone stuff. Select the option that works best for you, or go back to the previous screen and consider which iCloud data you want to delete. This is not an option I'm going to choose. I'll take more space. After you've got the right plan selected, tap the back arrow to go to the iCloud screen that shows how much storage you're using. Tap iCloud Backup. Look at the last successful backup. If you have iCloud Backup enabled, your iPhone backs itself up whenever the iPhone is charging, the screen is off, and it's connected to Wi-Fi. For many people, that's every day. Because I'm paranoid, <laughs> I'll tap backup now. This backup should take just a few minutes to complete because backups are incremental, which means it'll be pretty quick if you backed up recently. However, if you haven't, then it could take a while. Now that the backup is complete, we're ready to go to the next step. Let's set up the new phone. We'll start at the hello screen and follow the prompts. First, we'll choose our country or region Then we'll connect to Wi-Fi and follow the prompts. We'll choose set up for myself. And to keep things simple, I'll skip all of the other setup options for now, like passcode and face ID. And then we'll choose our recovery option. Oh look, there's the one for recover from Android. I'm gonna choose download from iCloud. Let's enter our iCloud username and password, and we may need to verify our identity on our old phone to proceed. Now, we wait. By the way, if you're transferring your phone number to your new phone, you may be prompted as part of the recovery process to activate the number on your new device. Phone carriers like T-Mobile and AT&T have partnerships with Apple that makes this easy. If you're with a carrier that doesn't have such a partnership, you may need to contact them and get their assistance in moving your phone number from the old phone to the new one. My carrier sent me a QR code that I was able to use to activate the eSIM on my new phone. My number got moved over in just a few minutes. In my experience, the phone-to-phone -phone migration is fastest to finish because when it's done, everything is transferred. However, restoring from an iCloud backup can feel faster because you just jump right into using the phone and your iCloud data gets restored over the next few hours, or if you have a lot of data, the next few days. You can long press on apps that are downloading to prioritize them, which means asking them to install next before other apps in the process. If you use a two-factor app like Authy, Duo Mobile, or Microsoft Authenticator, you'll probably want to prioritize those downloads and then sign into them using your old phone to verify your identity. After the recovery is complete, your new phone's home screen and wallpaper should look just like your old one. Your phone will be busy in the background over the next few days as Siri indexes everything to make it available for search. You can customize what Siri indexes by going to Settings, Search, and then tapping on the apps you'd like to exclude. You can also go to Settings, Siri, Suggestions, and turn off the options you want. Of course, Siri works better when you leave these options on. 
it'll take just a few days for your phone to index all your data. During that time, your phone may be a little bit warmer than normal and the battery may drain a little bit faster. But once indexing is complete, things will get better. If you're trading your old phone in, selling it, or giving it away to someone else, then I recommend you open every app on your new phone first and ensure that they all work as you expect before you erase your old phone. Here's how to erase your old phone. On your old phone, tap Settings, General, Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap Erase, All Contents and Settings. Remember, only choose this option if your new phone is working and you have a backup available. Tap Continue. If your phone has a SIM card, pause and ensure that you know what you plan to do with this phone. If you're trading it or giving it away, choose Delete eSIM and Erase Data. If you're erasing it but plan to keep the phone, you may just want the other option. Just be sure of the one you want before you choose. Tap Continue. Enter the unlock code for this phone, then tap Next. The iPhone will attempt to complete a backup before it erases. If you've already done this part, you can tap to skip it. You may also be prompted to enter a screen time code if your device has one. The next step turns off activation lock. Enter your Apple password and then tap Turn Off. Activation lock is what prevents other people from erasing your phone and signing into it with their own account without your permission. By turning it off, you're clearing the way for the iPhone's future owner to sign in. The phone reboots and puts you at the Hello screen. Here, you can turn it off and pack it up for its new owner. If you want to see how to do a phone-to-phone -phone migration, click this video next. Thanks for watching, click like, and I'll see you in the next video.